Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal, metal shaping and um, I'm back here on YouTube again with some tips and tricks and you probably have seen those before the Clico clips uh, and uh, actually my as, you, uh, as far as I know my invention to have that little clip between and I have a video about that before but I'm going to show you in the real life what it's going to look like on a project and uh, what the advantage is to use those because what, what it's going to do for you. So here I have an aluminum project that I'm working on for myself just for, for the fun part of it because I'm, I'm teaching people to do all this stuff but I don't do much metal shaping for my own pleasure and I would like to do that so that's why I started this project and I'm going to finish this uh, in aluminum. And it's, it's really interesting and learning, uh, learn a lot to, to work with aluminum. And um, so you see all those clicos on this body here that we have in front of me. Uh, on each seam here, on this, there, you know, and there, and there too, and further back on the car as well. I have those clicos and put the whole car together with the clips. And that little clips there has two holes in it and it's 18 gauge. And that goes on it over the seam. So you can actually see here that we have the clips there. I drill a hole on that bottom piece, a hole, uh, put the clicos in and, and the, the clips and then drill another hole for the second clico. And I can hold the whole car together that way. That's why you see so many of them. In some areas is, is two inches apart. Some areas it may be three inches, but two to three inches is probably a good idea because when you weld it together, you can weld between there and it doesn't move so much the metal. If it's further apart, then the metal will move and then it's going to be a step when you're welding it and it, it's just a mess. You want it to be the same height of, of the both pieces. The advantage of this technique and use it like this is that if I see when I put all the parts together that I have a little low spot in one area, I can take that piece off and I can work on that separate piece and make a little more convex shape to it and I can put it back on there again and it will fit. Sometimes it happened when we use this for the 4 to 1 wheelless coupes in Sweden that we need to drill some new holes because we, it was so much more we need to stretch it. So we need to drill a few more holes and maybe trim it a little bit. But it's, it's minimum to do. So you can actually build the whole car, put it together and you can work on each separate piece a little more if you want. And you can look at the flow of the whole car. That's um, what I like with this. So it's really difficult to keep clamps and holding everything together with clamps. So the same thing here with the back part of the car, you know, I put the whole car together with clicos and I can look at everything and it happened several times when I built this that I need, I saw a flat spot that, and I saw this, this is not good enough here, you know, I need, it didn't get the flow of the whole thing. So I took that part, uh, uh, removed that and rolled it in English wheel, put it back together, then check with the templates again and it was much, much better. So here you can see a lot of clicos, but uh, it it's really helps to, to see the whole car, it's really fun. So I hope this was helpful for you if you have a dream to build your own stuff and, and um, make your own car body one day. And uh, remember the clicos and the clips. Uh, you can make those clips by yourself if you want, but you must make sure that you have the same distance between the holes. If you drill it just, you know, and you're going to have 500 of those and you're going to drill those holes, uh, they're going to be a little, little, little off. So when you remove a piece, and you put it back together again, you must number the, the clips. <laughs> but you can find them on my website as well. So I hope this was helpful for you and give you some inspiration. And if you want more information about classes and equipment, go to www.lassimetalshaping.com. Thank you for watching and we're going to show you more.